Well, I'm excited to see the transformation, that's for sure. <laughs> so I want to thank you for being on the show. And um, Matt, why don't you talk about the website and... Oh, uh, anything else in particular or just the website? The website and um, the excitement of this program, what's going to happen? Well, as far as the excitement goes, it's been, it's, been a long, it's been a long semester. We've had a lot of roadblocks that we've had to learn how to get around, a lot of uh, communication that we've had to figure out how to achieve, um, finding particular key holders and, and people that would be the ones that would allow us to help you know, with the project and everything. Um, as far as, I'm sorry, what was the, oh yeah, the website. Uh, that's uh, umassmakeover.com. Uh, and, and then we have a weekly blog update there every week. It uh, has uh, profiles on the students involved in the class. Um, uh, what else? Uh, just our mission statement, uh, basically, you know, everything we've been doing, everything, I think it's about every week we have a new, we have a new update about what's coming up and what, who, who we've been working with and, and what's coming up next for the project. So this will be on there probably <laughs> by the time we're done today. So. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Lee, for joining us. <coughs> and again, thank you to Carol Rogie, Matthew Horanis, Kristen Kucher, and Matt Kenny. Good thank luck you. to all of you thank with you. the yes. upcoming interviews <laughs> and the transformation problem project. Thank you for joining the show. <laughs> thank you. Hi, welcome back to Eye on You. I'm your host for today, Bridget Driscoll, and we have for our segment today the graduate makeover from the University of Massachusetts Lowell. Um, joining us for this particular segment, we have two people from the local community in businesses, and uh, we have Actually, I'll begin with Beth Perry yes. um, from Lord & Taylor's. She's the Human Resource Manager in Burlington, Massachusetts. And we also have Maria um, Chazewski mm -hmm. uh, from Enzio Spa mm -hmm. in, here in Lowell. Yep. And also today I have uh, one of my news writing students, uh, Stephen Haratunian. Stephen. It's great to be here. Bruce. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> Ladies, let me ask you, your mission according to um, Dr. Moser, is to make over um, graduates for um, this transformation process of going into the business world. Um, so I'll, I'll begin with um, Beth. Sure, sure. Beth, what, what do you see? What, what, what has to happen well, here? <laughs> hopefully what we can do is give the students confidence Dressing for success is extremely important. As you go out on a job interview, meet with um, potential companies that you'd like to work for, those first impressions really make a difference. Okay. And so how are you from Lord & Taylor's, you know, going to gonna kind of wow those employers? Oh, with style. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we have several outfits. Um, we'll meet with them. We'll help determine what silhouette may look best on the student, um, whether it's a color choice or perhaps a stripes, patterns, and different trends that we have out there. Okay. And Maria, um, how about at the spa? So Beth had mentioned that um, she's going to be working with style mm -hmm. and clothing. Um, what about from your so business perspective? we get them from head to toe besides the clothing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As far as what we're looking to do is, um, you know, prepare them as far as, you know, haircuts, doing manicures, you know, getting them ready as far as makeup on the women. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, the first impression is very important, especially going into these job interviews. And just, you know, preparing them, you know, the college scene is definitely a little bit different than the professional scene and either adding some color in someone's hair or, you know, trimming them up a bit. We try to, you know, work on the hair as well as, you know, makeup and stuff like that, but we don't want to change the person. You know, we'll definitely sit them down, see what kind of style they're into, and kind of tweak it a little bit to, you know, get them ready for interviews and whatever's next for them. Stephen, you're um, from, the, from the student perspective, <laughs> yeah. well, what would you like to ask? Um, I was just wondering, um, you were contacted by the students to do this, right? That's right. Um, have you done something like this before, or is it a really we, exciting thing for it, you to do? As far as in the spa industry, you know, we do this daily. People, mm -hmm. you know, have either life-changing experiences and, you know, wake up one day and either want to change their look completely, want to, you know, come in and relax. You know, so we work, you know, this is our business, you know, changing or helping people, you know, 
work with what they want to do. And as far as our job is to, you know, know the latest styles, know what's coming in the, you know, the spring, the summer, and to help them. But also, you know, we get a lot of people bringing pictures like, I want to look like this. And, you know, to and tell you them some, <laughs> well, you know, some people are asking for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we're not going to totally change them, but help them pick the right styles and stuff like that that, you know, are, are good for them and their color and their look and, you know, what's up and coming as far as hair and makeup and stuff like that goes. Um, Beth, yes. from, from the Lord and Taylor's perspective, mm -hmm. I, I wanted to ask you, what are some don'ts? You don't want to do this when you go out into to get a job for an interview. Sure. Um, well, one thing you don't want to do is wear jeans. <laughs> I know that's very popular in the college scene, but as you go out and search for a job, you want to dress professionally. Um, it can be tricky, um, but there are so many great styles out there. If you stay with some classic styles, some basic styles, um, whether it's black or a dark color, um, a suit coat, a tie if you're a gentleman. Wear a suit coat? Yes. Yeah. Don't Whenever. wear. How about a suit coat with jeans? Um, <laughs> not <laughs> preferably. <laughs> uh, coordinating slacks would be best. Okay. Um, and of course, a tie for a gentleman. Uh, do you have any questions? About, about a jean suit coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. For most jobs, I would have to say no on that one. Although I'm sure it can be very stylish no. um, and very trendy. Should women wear pants? Not necessarily. You can wear a skirt. Um, a dress, you want to make sure that if it is a dress, it's nothing with a cap sleeve or too short of a sleeve, but it's a three-quarter or full sleeve. Okay. Is there, um, have you seen lots of cases of overdressing for interviews? Is there a way to go go way too much? Um, actually, I have not seen that. It's always the reverse. Mm -hmm. It's always, an, you know, something that's a little bit understated. Um, the khakis, the jeans, um, midriffs showing and things of that nature. So um, if you're in a suit or dress professionally, it certainly does make a huge difference. Mar Maria, I wanted to ask you, uh, because you were talking about haircut, manicure, these all sound good to me. <laughs> so um, what about hair? What can you tell us about hair? I mean, if, if I'm a college student um, and I'm like, a young man and my hair is down to my shoulders, is, it, is that okay or do I have to cut it? <laughs> well, is it okay with is, facial hair? Well, that's, I mean, the trends going into the spring and summer are definitely a longer style on the men. And, you know, I personally think it looks great and we, you know, we do encourage them to be themselves as well, you know, our clients that come in, we, you know, if people like short hair, go with the short hair. But the trend going into, you know, the upcoming seasons, as far as men goes, it is a longer look. Um, you know, I say, you know, make it presentable. You don't want this hair, you know, all over the place. But, um, but no, a longer look on men is totally fine. <laughs> and, the sh you know, as far as an interview goes, I would suggest do cleaning up as far as the, you know, the shadow goes. But, you know, that a lot of men are going with that look right now. I, I just want to ask one more thing, and then I'll throw it to Stephen here. Um, but I heard black nail polish is in. Is it okay to wear black? <laughs> I went to an interview as far as going out and, you know, but on yeah, am I correct evening, on that, that is coming back. Very dark <laughs> polishes are coming back, which, I mean, there's a, so many trends coming back that we haven't seen in a long time, and it's fun. And, you know, as long as you stick within some guidelines, it will be okay. Mm -hmm. Stephen? Um, <laughs> I, I guess I just want to ask, uh, like you had mentioned, uh, to be presentable is is like one of you know first impression sure. is important. So, uh, what are employers looking for today? I mean, knowing that somebody's coming just out of college, um, is it the appearance? Is it the personality? Is it the qualifications? Um, it's everything. it's everything. I was say, um, the whole package. It is. It, it is absolutely everything. Um, we did talk about those first impressions, and they are very important. However, as you sit down and you're interviewing, we want to see your personality shine. We want to see the way that you will interact in our business with fellow coworkers, with customers, perhaps. Um, so it is that whole package, and um, 